Tonight at 10, leaders at the climate summit here in Glasgow make some progress in the race to limit global warming. Methane emissions, a major factor in global warming, are meant to be cut by a third by the end of the decade, the initiative led by the EU and the US. And Brazil, where the Amazon rainforest has been devastated, is backing the call from the UK and others to stop deforestation by 2030. There is still a very long way to go. But all that being said, I am cautiously optimistic. As he prepared to leave Glasgow, President Biden was heavily critical of the Chinese president for not attending, though Beijing did send a team of negotiators. I think it's been a big mistake, quite frankly, for China, with respect to China, not showing up. The rest of the world is going to look to China and say, what value added are they, are they providing? Also on the program tonight, two police officers plead guilty to taking and sharing photographs of the bodies of two sisters who were stabbed to death in a park in London. At least 25 people are killed in Kabul in an attack on Afghanistan's biggest military hospital. The Islamic State group claims responsibility. In the sport on the BBC News Channel, Antonio Conte is back in town. The Italian takes over at Tottenham. 24 hours after the former manager was sacked. Good evening once again from the Global Climate Summit in Glasgow, where world leaders have reached agreement today on two major areas affecting the future of the planet. Within the past couple of hours, President Biden, who is returning to the US tonight, said that much had been achieved in just two days, but he was heavily critical of President Xi of China and President Putin of Russia for refusing to attend. Now, during the day, more than 100 countries launched a far-reaching initiative to cut emissions of methane, a gas that's a major cause of global warming, and the pledge is to cut emissions by 30% by the end of the decade, which would play uh, a big part in limiting the rise